But speaking of James Franco, snooze fast. We have a fantastic interview now with Simon Beaufoy, the Oscar winner and Oscar nominated writer of Slumdog Millionaire and this year's 127 Hours. of Slumdog Millionaire and yep. your Oscar win, yes. what sort of pressure does that put on the next project? Winning that Oscar, everyone says, does it change your life? Does it put a pressure on you? I think what Danny Christie and I did, we sort of went, wow, that was amazing. It's never going to happen again. So put the Oscar in a box. Danny's is under his bed. Mine's in the bathroom, in a cabinet. You don't look at it. Get on, get on with the next film. Why really. is it get in the bathroom? Get on with the next film. Why would you put it in the bathroom? Uh, in Britain, a bathroom has a bath in it, so it's a bit of a different thing. <laughs> well, like, where do you put this strange thing? I don't know. It's such a weird... I mean, what? It's the weirdest decorative object you can imagine. If you put it on the mantelpiece, everyone walks in and goes, oh, show off. <laughs> if you ever... I think if you ever start writing for an Oscar, if you ever start aiming your creative work to win awards, you've blown it. So the thing to do is to say, thank you very much, that was amazing, and then just get on with the next film and don't even think about Oscars, ever. Interestingly, people are already talking about Oscar buzz, though, for <laughs> this. Yeah, but completely, again, as with Slumdog, which no one ever thought would be Oscar material. One guy stuck down in a canyon who doesn't move for five days and then chops his arm off. It's not really your obvious Oscar contender. It's not even an obvious film choice. No, when you indeed. were first confronted with the source material. Yeah, no, I said, don't be crazy, Danny. What's wrong with... <laughs> Slumdog the sequel, Slumdog Billionaire. <laughs> Come on, we can do Trillionaire after that. We can do Slum Puppy, the prequel. Hey, there's a whole world here. And he's going, no, no, we're doing, we go from a billion people in India to one guy in America. And I just said to Danny, I can give you 10 amazing stories, survival stories about mountaineering. This one, this is the one you can't do. It's one guy, so where's the drama? He doesn't move, where's the action? And then he does this weird thing, he chops his arm. And I said, it's impossible. And being Danny, you know, as soon as you use words like, it's not possible, or it's a, it's a ridiculous idea, he goes, I know, it's going to be great. <laughs> Simon Beaufoy is one of the most inspirational people I think I've ever spoken to, and we have a fantastic tip of the week. Actually, my favorite one I think we've had so far, coming up at the end of the show, so please stay tuned for that.